happy. Today, the focus of my read aloud is modeling a realistic read aloud for you. Um, it's important that parents and students alike hear realistic reading aloud. Um, too often times, you know, in my other videos, I can stop and rewind and edit and, um, you know, cut out if I misread a sentence. Today I decided to do this all in one take and I am going to read just as if I was reading aloud to a class or to one of my students. Um, the important thing is, is for parents and students alike to hear a realistic read aloud. We all make mistakes. Students, teachers, parents, everybody makes mistakes. And I wanted to do this all in one shoot um, because it was important for me to let my students know that everybody makes mistakes and there's an appropriate way to just take a deep breath and move on with it. Move on to the next sentence, the next page, whatever it is. Um, so, I'll be reading um, the first chapter of Freckle Juice by Judy Bloom. I hope you enjoy it. I love this book. Oh, and it's illustrated by Sonia O. Lisker. Now, I've read this book before, so it isn't going to be a true first-time read for me, but I haven't read it in quite some time. So, we'll see how it goes. It's dedicated for Randy, my favorite freckle face. Chapter 1. Andrew Marcus wanted freckles. Nikki Lane had freckles. He had about a million of them. They covered his face, his ears, and the back of his neck. Andrew didn't have any freckles. He had two warts on his finger. But they didn't do him any good at all. If he had freckles like Nikki, his mother would never know if his neck was dirty, so he wouldn't have to wash. And then he'd never be late for school. Andrew had plenty of time to look at Nikki's freckles. He sat right behind him in class. Once, he even tried to count them. But when he got to 86, Miss Kelly called, Andrew, are you paying attention? Yes, Miss Kelly, Andrew said. Good, Andrew. I'm glad to hear that. Now will you please pick up your chair and join your reading group? We're all waiting for you. Andrew stood up in a hurry. His reading group giggled, especially Sharon. He couldn't stand that Sharon. She thought she knew everything. He picked up his chair and carried it to the corner where his reading group sat. You may begin, Andrew, Miss Kelly said. Page 64. Andrew turned the pages in his book. 64, 64. He couldn't find it. The pages stuck together. Why did Miss Kelly have to pick him? Everybody else already had their books open to the right page. Sharon kept giggling. She covered her mouth to keep her she covered her mouth to keep in the noise, but Andrew knew what was going on. He finally found page 64, right where it was supposed to be, between pages 63 and 65. If he had his own freckles, he wouldn't have to count Nikki Lane's. Then he'd hear Miss Kelly when she called reading groups, and nobody would laugh at him. Later, when the bell rang, Andrew poked Nikki Lane. What do you want? Nikki asked. What do you want? Nikki asked, turning around. I was wondering about your freckles, Andrew said. Oh yeah? What about them? Andrew felt pretty stupid. Well, how did you get them? What do you mean, how? You get born with them, that's how. Andrew thought that's what Nikki would say. Somehow he was. Line up, boys and girls, Miss Kelly said. Time to go home now. Sharon, you may lead the girls. Andrew, you may lead the boys. Some luck. Just when he got to be the leader, he had to stand next to Sharon. When they were in line, Sharon whispered to Andrew, I know how to get them. How to get what? Andrew asked. Freckles, Sharon said. Who asked you? I heard you ask Nikki about his. Sharon ran her tongue along her teeth. She was always doing that. Do you want to know how to get them? Sharon asked. Maybe, Andrew told her. It'll cost you 50 cents. I have a secret recipe for freckle juice, Sharon whispered. A secret recipe? 
Uh-huh. Sharon's tongue reminded Andrew of a frog catching flies. He wondered if Sharon ever got a mouthful of both, the way she opened her mouth and wiggled her tongue around. Andrew inspected Sharon's face. You don't even have freckles, he said. Look close, Sharon said. I've got six on my nose. Big deal, a lot of good six will do. You can get as many as you want. Six was enough for me. It all depends on how much freckle juice you drink. Andrew didn't believe Sharon for a minute. Not one minute. There was no such thing as freckle juice. Andrew had never heard of it before. So that was chapter one from Judy Bloom's Freckle Juice. 